everybody, this is Yara with Volt Life Roof Grooming from sunny California. It's actually a really beautiful day here today. And today we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna talk about handlebar mustache. And I'm gonna break it onto into two different sections. First, we're gonna talk about how to get to that point that you can actually style and do your own handlebar mustache. And the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a quick demo using different tools and I'm gonna do a handlebar mustache in my own beard. So let's get to it. All right, so the first step towards a handlebar mustache is to grow a mustache. Obviously, you cannot have a handlebar mustache if you don't have any hair on it. So how do you grow it? There's no really secret to it. In my case, guys, I let it grow for about six months because I'm shooting more for that uh, natural looking style where everything is almost the same length and then I'm gonna have a curl on the left and right side. Some guys are going pretty crazy with it. They trim it along the way. Uh, they trim it kind of in the middle and let the sides grow really long and then do uh, you know those awesome elaborate curves so it's really up to you what you're trying to accomplish but hey you gotta grow the mustache first okay the next step is to train your mustache and how do you train your mustache it's actually pretty simple and easy what I do is every single morning when I get out of the shower when my hair is still wet and you know kind of steamed uh, that's when it's actually manageable and it's easy to work with it. I comb it and brush it using uh, two different tools that I'm gonna talk about when I'm doing the demo. Uh, the next thing what I do is I apply product on it regularly. And the product, what it does is it actually keeps it in that shape or style that you comb it or brushed it in the morning. And you're gonna see that over some, you know, two or three weeks, the hair is gonna get used to that style and it's gonna be so much easier for you to accomplish whatever you wanna do with your handlebar mustache. All right, it's time to do handlebar in my mustache. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over to the few tools I'm gonna to use. I'm gonna use the round brush right here, which allows me to act, uh, you know, easily curl it and style it. I'm gonna use that little comb right here, and I'll show you in a second how to use it. And uh, then we're gonna use the Volt Skull Box, and I'm gonna to talk to you about it in a second. Uh, first of all, I apply the beard oil in my, in my beard in the morning to kind of soften it up and then I put some of uh, our um, uh, balm in it. Uh, this, this, I call this the pre-styling products. They kind of soften it up, keep it all together. So what the scope wax is going to do is, this is actually going to add a firm, firmness, reliable firmness and style to it. You can expect to get about 24 hours of hold on this and I call it kind of a medium strong hold but it really depends on how much product you put in if you want to have a lot stronger hold you can put more product in it uh, if you just want to use it you know sporadically to keep the hair down and keep a you know keep a desired shape then use less product this product is made 100% of natural ingredients there's beeswax there's lanolin wax and we have some essential uh, some actually uh, organic oils in it um, the fragrance, there's no fragrance. And, and I wanna emphasize that because we didn't use the fragrance in this because we have a rosin, um, uh, actual rosin in this, pine rosin. And that pine rosin is there for two reasons. One, it gives it that firmness. That's what actually gives it, along with the beeswax, it gives it that, you know, that strong hold. But also, uh, the pine rosin is, you're gonna love the smell of it. It's a natural kind of a pine needle rosin smell and it's, it's gonna smell delicious all day long. Let's move to the application. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pre-style my mustache using the run brush right here. What I like about this brush is it allows me to turn it so I can actually curve my mustache the way I want it. And the way I do it is I start out in the middle and work my way out by twisting it and turning it. Next, I'm gonna proceed with the Volt School Box, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the wooden spatula to uh, scoop out a small amount of it and uh, start rubbing it and warming it in my fingers to make it more pliable. Next, I'm gonna start applying the wax in my mustache, and I like to start right in the middle, and I call this the foundation for the handlebar mustache, because the rest of the mustache is going to start from this base. I know some guys like to start on the sides because they have a shorter hair in the middle and that's fine. It really, everybody's got a different style. So, you know, you gotta do it the way it works best for you. 
As you go, make sure that the wax penetrates every single hair because you don't want to have some of the hair without the wax because then later on it's going to be actually sticking out. So apply wax as, as needed and as you go. As we go, I like to use the volt comb because it allows me to spread the wax evenly and also do that center line in the middle and divide the mustache into the left and right side. The final move is the handlebar curl and for this I like to use the round brush again and apply more wax as needed. In this video I'm shooting for more of that natural looking handlebar mustache so I'm not going to be using a whole lot of the product in the middle uh, but most of the product or the majority of the product I'm going to be using is going to be in that curl. You know and the curl is a lot of fun so what you got to do is you got to keep applying more product to it and keep shaping it, brushing it, but eventually it's gonna be your fingers that are going to give it that final shape. And you know, I compare it to working with electrical wires that you're trying to put in the same bundle. So you gotta keep twisting it until you figure out which way it works the best for you. All right, handlebar mustache using the Volt School box right here and a bunch of other tools that I showed you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave me a feedback. This is how I learn what I can do better. Uh, tell me any ideas what you want to see in the upcoming videos. We have a lot more coming up and uh, I will see you next time.